Hail to legal warriors. Do you ever wonder if you've been arrested? Can you avoid getting charged with a crime if you've been arrested? In some cases, you actually can. If you're interested in this area of the law, stay tuned. This is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Fryer. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm has been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years. And I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get the help they need. And I'm just going to jump right into it. Many people think that if you've been arrested for a crime, you're automatically going to be charged with a crime or you are charged with a crime. And uh, I've heard the word charged used incorrectly by many people, especially people that uh, maybe aren't originally from the United States. The word charged in, in the legal system here in Washington means that you're formally accused of a crime, either through a criminal complaint for a non-felony or a criminal information for a felony. Charged does not mean convicted. Convicted means you are adjudged guilty, either by plea of guilty or being found guilty at a trial or after some alternative disposition that failed. So I'm saying charge with the crime. So um, if you're a viewer of my channel, uh, you may uh, have learned one of the hard things out there that's one of the hardest for people to learn is that when certain types of police officers arrest someone for a crime, they are not charged with a crime yet. A county police officers, for the most part, only arrest for investigation of crimes, so Homish County Sheriff, King County Sheriff, unless they're working for a city on a city contract. Um, you know, most of the, the state patrol, um, those are statewide uh, jurisdiction officers, they arrest for investigation and then a prosecutor has to officially charge. So in cases where you've been arrested by a county officer, um, that means you're not charged with a crime yet. Similarly, any felony, any felony by a city officer or arrest by a city officer or a county officer, those officers cannot charge felonies. The prosecutor has to file an information. So in those situations, you're arrested and not charged. So what's that mean, Lance? Well, in does that mean I'm not going to get charged? Well, if you watch my videos, it does not mean that. It doesn't mean you're not going to get charged. You're probably going to get charged later. But what I'm putting this out is there are some things you can do between the arrest and the time a prosecutor gets around to deciding whether or not they're going to charge you. That might be months or even years. There's some things you can do to help your situation, right? And there's also factors that make it less likely that the prosecutor will charge. So first, let's start with the factors. Um, obviously, the longer the case goes between the time of the event and the prosecutor getting around to looking at it, the better chances the prosecutor may not charge the case. Why is that? Well, witnesses move. Witnesses lose interest. Victims move. Victims lose interest. Cops, police officers get fired, get charged with their own crimes, retire, move away, uh, unfortunately pass away, right? And so as time passes and it takes longer for the prosecutor to get to that stack that you're in, um, things are looking a little bit better for the person who is hoping to not get charged with the crime. Uh, additionally, uh, let's say the alleged victim, as it often is, maybe they don't want the uh, person arrested, the suspect charged with the crime. So uh, they might communicate that to the prosecutor. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to cooperate with you. I don't want this. And then a close call that may keep someone who's been arrested from being charged with the crime. Uh, additionally, laws can change, right? Uh, we, we've seen the law where the possession, uh, mere possession of drugs without intent uh, to do other things uh, turned out to not be uh, properly prosecuted in Washington State. And so a lot of people that got arrested for a drug possession never got charged for that crime. So those are some uh, factors that can contribute to someone being arrested and not yet charged. Well, that's, uh, that's fine. But, you know, what can I do if I've been arrested? You know, what can I do to improve my chances of not getting charged? Well, the obvious one is clear. One, get a good defense attorney, right? Because the good defense attorney is going to know how your situation 
relates directly to the prosecutors making the decision in your case. A good defense attorney in the local area is gonna know each prosecutor. It's gonna know the tendencies of that office and what's their culture and what are they likely to do? And what can you do to help it, right? What you can do is either yourself or have your attorney do a public disclosure request and try to get the evidence, try to get the police reports and see what it says, right? Start to build that defense. Maybe there's some just terrible errors in the report that your attorney can correct and tell the prosecutor about so the prosecutor knows they shouldn't charge it, right? Or they can't charge it. Maybe in some cases this actually happens. We get the report and we and no one has ever spoken to the person arrested. And we realize that the person arrested's true story needs to be told and get in front of the prosecutor so the prosecutor can make a decision not to charge the person arrested. We might reach out to that law enforcement officer who made the arrest and say, hey, we want to provide an interview. And they don't have to take an interview from us, but they're probably going to want to, right? They're going to think it may build their case or an officer may think, you know, it's only fair that we get the other side out. And so um, there's things that can be done by hiring an attorney between arrest and charging to improve your chances of not being charged. And if you are charged, it's still your much better position, right? You know more, you've done more, you're in better position to defend whatever does get charged. Additionally, you might do some classes, right? I've seen cases where you've got a young person who gets arrested by a county officer in a park for drinking in public. Maybe we have have that young person do alcohol drug information school, get a hold of the prosecutor and say, hey, would you not charge this? Because look, he's already done the class you would have him do anyway, right? We'll also do some community service. What can we do to avoid the case being charged? The prosecutor doesn't have to listen to that, but it's it, they don't have to. But it's another way that if we do some things that each case is different, we may be able to improve our chances of going from arrest to never charged. So how do I know if I didn't get charged? Like, so what am I supposed to do? My employer wants to know, um, you know, how do I figure that out? Well, first of all, there's something called the statute of limitations, right? The statute of limitations is how long the authorities have to charge someone. And we have a video on that, but, you know, simple misdemeanors, the authorities have a year to charge from the date of violation. Gross misdemeanors, which are most non felonies or gross misdemeanors. DUI, assault, theft, stuff like that. They have two years from the date of the offense for most cases. Most felonies, they have three years, but there's a lot of exceptions. A lot of sex crimes have no statute of limitations. Some fraud crimes have so long from date to discovery of the fraud. Um, there's a lot of variations, but if the statute of limitations is run, um, then they can't charge you. But how we usually find out is certain prosecutor's offices, we can call, I don't advise you do this, but if we can call a prosecutor's office and find out from a records person or a database person, somebody's not going to clue in the prosecutor to look at your case. Sometimes they will just tell us, hey, the case was declined on such and such a date. And now we know that you're not going to get charged because the case was declined. Um, unfortunately, I haven't seen a jurisdiction yet where the prosecutor will actually hand out that work product showing the decline notice we can give to you to give to your employer. But we can write a letter saying, hey, we we talk to the prosecutor, they say they're not proceeding with charges. Um, they could still change their mind if they have statute of limitations, you know, time to change their mind. But for the most part, uh, I've only seen in 30 years of my career, two times where a case was declined and then it came back. And that's usually because a victim was available and now the victim became available or uh, the suspect made the victim mad and now the victim went back to the prosecutor and said, I want them charged. And the prosecutor said, okay, I'll charge, right? So, um, that's how you learn is usually that statute of limitations runs or your attorney finds out, or in some cases, um, some cities will notify the victim that they're declining to file charges. And if you're friendly with that victim, they might tell you hey, hey, they're declining to file, okay? But um, they're generally not gonna talk to you directly. Um, you don't, you shouldn't talk to the prosecutor directly. You don't wanna do something in artful that can make them uh, do something you don't want them to do. So don't be your own attorney. So the gist of this is, if you get arrested, hope is not lost. There may be a way that you'll avoid charging and you may be able to do things to uh, encourage a prosecutor not to charge or at least do things to prepare uh, your defense. And even if uh, um, you do get charged, if you've done those things, that's going to help your case. 
So um, I hope you find that useful. If so, please like and please subscribe. More people will get to see this and get the help they need. More importantly, if you have a legal problem in Washington State, you've been arrested or a loved one's been arrested or you need some legal defense, feel free to give my office a call. Doing this more than 20 years, we'll listen to what happened, we'll identify your way forward, and we will be there for you. Thank you. Thank you.